Karens are known for their public freakouts, and boy, do they deliver. They can be seen going off on anyone, from store clerks to restaurant staff, and even complete strangers. From screaming at the top of their lungs to pointing their fingers aggressively, these Karens know just how to make an entrance. So the next time you encounter a Karen in public, think twice before you startle her. She might just have something up her sleeve. No one can deny the fact that sometimes police officers abuse their power. But what happens when police officers abuse their power when dealing with an undercover federal agent? That's exactly what happened here and what you're about to witness for yourself. Where'd you get this? Federal Bureau of Investigation? This ex-FBI agent was pulled over by police because he had a cover on his license plate. But once the cops found out that this was an ex-FBI agent that they were dealing with, the jealousy started to seep through, it's clear, and they tried to look for any reason to arrest him. How you doing, sir? Good. All right. What's up? Deputy Turner with the Sheriff's Office. The reason okay. I'm stopping you is your, your plate's obstructed. Yeah. Whatever that thing's got, you got to take it off, okay? Okay. Because you got to be visible within a certain distance. All right. When you went to driving school and a cop yeah. pulls you over, what they tell you? No, you pull over when it's safe to do No, so. you pull over immediately. Okay? Let me tell you this. That, and, and, now, you pull over immediately. Sure. Um, because I don't know what you're doing inside this car. Sure, yeah. Hiding guns. You yeah. know what I mean? Officer yeah. safety is no So who are you? Oh, I'm I guess I could. Yeah. Former NDOC and I used to work security at Harris. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm a contract yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you have insurance on this part, thing? My partner, huh? Do you have insurance on this thing? Yeah. Your partner or what? Now my partner called me. I'm a contractor with Southwest Gas. Mm -hmm. So I got to go over there and, and get him logged into his computer. Yeah. No guns inside the car? Nah, no fire. Okay. What do you got right there up front? Hey, that's a sign. I'm a, I contract. You contract. You contract. So, so some of the work I require to have a sign. Okay. Turn it on. Got wheel wags in the back too. Yeah. Go ahead and step out, man. No weapons or anything like that. Nah. Alright, I'm gonna take you out like this just to check. Okay, go first that one for me. So you're not a like law enforcement, right? You're not a law enforcement officer? Yeah. Okay, so you said you work security, yeah. right? Okay. I'm a I'm security contractor. Whose car is it? Who? So I'm gonna put these on for now, okay? Because uh wouldn't relax? Why haven't you taken the lights off of there? No, I do contract work, so I have to have lights on this vehicle for some of the work. They shouldn't be that color, though. Yeah, they shouldn't be red and white, brother. No, it depends on who you're contracting with. If you contract with law enforcement agencies, it's different. Which agencies do you contract with? The various ones. DOJ. Name some. A DOJ? Sure. So you have DHS? contracts? I've worked for DHS, yeah. Okay, so do you have a government ID? I have a contractor ID. Where's that? It's in my, uh, it's my hood. Where'd you get this? That's issue two. Issue two? Federal Bureau of Investigation badge? Let me, I'm gonna read you your rights too, okay? No guns, right? Yeah. Inside the car? Yeah. Okay. Who, cause, like I said, man, too. Put your money in. Put that back in until I put it in the bag, okay? So the reason that you're in cuffs, okay? Huh. Unless you're a sworn officer. I know in the bad of you Yeah, you're not allowed to have Red and blues, sure, yeah. right? Because then you sure. could easily impersonate a police officer. Sure. So who issued this to you? My former employer. Your former employer? Yeah. So you used to work for the FBI at I, one point? I've contracted with the Department of Justice and the FBI and other here in Reno. Here in Reno? Where's their office at? Or what? Uh, resident agency. It's um, off of. Uh, it's next to Wells Fargo. It's right by the traffic circle. There. Okay. Uh, I'm just <laughs> throwing out because I'm yeah, not gonna. Yeah, since you got the badge, where's your creds at? Where's your federal creds at? I don't need federal creds because I'm not currently employed by the federal government. You have an FBI badge? Sure, yeah. Okay, I used to be a task force officer okay. with the FBI. Okay, which task force? Safe Street? Yeah. Okay. So you know Elkington? No. Okay. So when did you work for him? I might answer that. Okay. Well, I'm texting somebody right now. Okay. If you impersonate a federal officer, you know you're going to get in trouble for that. Okay. And like I said, with the red and blues, that alone right there, okay? Sure. That's what you're 
that, that, but that's not that's not an offense in and of itself to have that in place. Yes, it is, and I'm going to show you the you NRS. Have to actually run, you have to actually run those. Lights. No, you don't. They're in your vehicle, and I must destroy those. Okay, and I'm going to pull up the NRS for you. I went to a okay. police officer academy. I know what the NRS. Well, you might again, but I went. Have they the updated room. the NRS? Have they? Have they? Okay. And let me let's go over here. That wouldn't get a let me get a bag. So that was issued to you, you say, right? That little FBI deal. You know, you didn't steal it or find it yeah. or no. So ultimately, this agent was arrested for having blue and red lights on his car. But you'll notice the cops were digging in his pockets. That's actually illegal because the issue was with the car, nothing to do with anything on his person. Now, under the Nevada statutes, true, civilians are not allowed to use red and blue emergency lights. But people who do contract work with law enforcement agencies are allowed to use these emergency lights if they're authorized by the agency. And since this ex-federal agent only works part-time with the FBI, it would have been wrong for him to identify himself as an FBI agent, but he never did that. So ultimately, he was arrested, not for any crime that he committed, but for a crime that he could have committed, but didn't. Back on June 10th of 2022, Karen called the police because she claimed that her employer didn't pay her for three weeks of work. However, Karen left out some crucial details and in the end, Karen got karma. After their employees get paid under the table, I don't think they're even legal. But she's basically telling me I can't get paid, but all these other women can get paid. And then told me to leave or she'll come to me. Uh, so why don't you wait out here while I talk to her then? It's always you. Okay. That lady mm -hmm. called her. Okay. She called or you called? I didn't call. Okay. She might call. She needs to fill out the application, right? W2, I9, all the reports I gave it to her. She didn't fill out anything. And we've been bugging her, bring your stuff. I had to put her in the payroll. Uh -huh. So she today's a payday. I cannot pay her without this. So she need to understand. Um, she didn't bring it this and she's threatening us. I need to pay right now. I need to pay. I said, okay, you fill it out. I had to pay you next week because you didn't bring up all the stuff. Okay. So this is why she called you because she can't get paid. So she's not gonna able to pay. Do get you have paid another today. copy of everything that she needs? I gave it to her. Oh, I gave she... it a second time today. Okay. Again, I gave it to her. Okay. So this is I gave it to her um, two weeks ago. She didn't bring it. The mommy house housekeeping supervisor is bugging her to bring it. Oh, I'll bring it tomorrow. I'll bring it tomorrow. Today's a payday. She come here and threatening. I need to pay right now. How I'm gonna pay her without these papers? Right. She's upset. I understand she's upset because. It's a payday. It's, a, it's not me paying. It's a payroll. Right. They, they require documents to pay her. Okay. Okay? I'll let her know. All right. Thank you. Uh-huh. Oh, that's why we take the deposit today before you show up. So apparently you have some documents that need to be filled out before you get paid, which okay, you have not filled out. No. Listen to me. Okay? Listen to me. No, you listen no, to me. No, you listen to me. I'm because done with you. No. Okay, I'll just call the labor you. board and they can call come. Call the labor board. And I'll it's call another issue. officer and they can come up here. They, they hired me. Here. They okay. hired me without doing the documents. I've never worked anywhere. Anywhere. That didn't do any documents before I Hey, can you have your... Hey, bud. Can you bring the manager out here? Can you bring the manager out here? Keep it up and you'll be in handcuffs. Uh, no, I won't. Oh, yes, you will. No, you want to bet? Okay, because of your mouth. mouth. Okay? I was about to take every one of you motherfuckers in this bitch to court. I'm going to tell you one more time. No, tell you them to start pay yelling me. and use the profanity. I'll just call somebody else. I'll call, this is everybody okay? that I work with. Go There's jail. no debt. Okay? okay, I'll just call somebody else because you're clearly no so she's no longer an employee of yours, is that no, correct? We want okay. A trespasser. You want a trespasser? Please. Okay. Stay right there. Yes, I need y'all to send another officer to you. Okay. You've been trespassed in the property. 
um, to the uh, Best Western TTR. And you have been trespassed. Leave the property or you will go to jail. Okay? Yes, and he's not helping me at all. Or out for 13 seconds. My name is Helena. I need to grab my stuff from inside, so I will go do that. And for the complainant's calling back requesting a second officer, you can disregard that call. Do not send another officer for the call. I got it. Ma'am, you've been trespassed. I you need, need to go leave. get my out the you damn leave. place. No, okay. I need to go get my stuff out of there. Where? So, it's on my floor with my cart. Okay, well, you can wait here. No, and they can I get will it. go grab it. No, no I don't trust going. them grabbing my because they okay. already robbed me out of three weeks You're of You're going back in that All right, so I'll wait for another officer to come. Okay, because we'll the one thing about it, I've been working here and I haven't got paid for three weeks. Four hours, three weeks, I'm about to lose everything I have. Because of this piece of Four hours, 11, and And when they get here, they'll say, I'm going to explain my mother I don't need a channel. Just that second officer will be fine. Yeah, pay me, dumbass bitch. Pay me. Does she have anything on the floor that belongs to her? She's saying she's got stuff on the floor that belongs to her. Can you walk out here? I'm going to open the door up and just tell her she's trespassed. Okay. All you got to say is you're trespassed, don't come back. Imagine why they didn't want to keep you around. Because they didn't pay me? Yeah. I didn't do shit to them. I'm their best worker while they're running this illegal operation. This sure. It's going to go down. Sure. They could have paid me under the table like they're doing the West Indies illegal ass Jamaican. Okay. All right. Spread your feet. Spread your feet, Park. You know what I mean? You know what I No. How am I supposed to do this? It's just water. It won't hurt you. No, I'm not stepping on that. 
Come on, then step all the way up. In the end, Karen was charged with battery on the law enforcement officer, trespass, and disorderly conduct at a public establishment. However, after pleading down to resisting without violence, Karen received 12 months of probation. For her sake, hopefully Karen didn't violate her probation because based on what we just saw, that was a sweet plea deal. Put the gun down! Okay, who hurt you? Why are you doing this to me? Get my gun off! Sir, I won't hurt nobody. What did I do to you? Please don't me because I've got children. I defended you, you know I did. Stand up, Brenda. No, guys, I didn't do a f***ing thing and you know it. You're not going to put me in cell. I didn't hurt you guys. We were friends. We were family. On September 7th, 2021, Police received a phone call about a woman behaving erratically. Specifically, the woman was walking around the convenience store holding a gun. As a result, multiple officers rushed to the scene in an effort to keep the public safe. However, there's not a single person that could predict that the crisis that the officers were about to walk into would unfold the way that it did. Go that way. No, go around that corner right there. Put the gun down. Get out of the way. Everybody out of the store. Everybody out of the store. Put the purse down. Put the purse down. Put your hands on your head. Right now. Turn around. Turn around. Get down on your knees. Do not reach. Do not reach. Get down on your knees. Get down on your knees. Get down, lay down flat, lay down flat. Oh, so my knees. Lay down flat. Hi, how are you guys doing? Lay down flat. Put your hands behind your head. Put your hands, both hands. Do not move. Do not move. Do not move. I won't hurt you. We're friends. We grew up together. Okay, I will. Put your hands. Ouch, I will. I promise. Okay. Oh, okay, I will. Yes, ma'am. Hey, who hurt you? Who hurt you, okay? Can you please tell me? Please tell me who hurt you. Please. Don't! I don't grab! Okay, I'll get yes, ma'am, I won't. Do not grab! I, I, I promise, love my heart. Okay, who hurt you? Why are you doing this to me? I didn't do another, I promise I won't hurt you. I gotta, I gotta throw up. Roll over. Me? Roll over. Okay. Roll over. Okay, okay ma'am. Roll over. Please, ma'am. Roll all right, over. Alright, alright. Ma'am. Why are you hurting me? I didn't do nothing to you. I didn't do anything. 52, 415. Okay, all right. Okay, there it is. Oh, I just snapped. Call it, call me one, hurry, my neck. My neck snapped. Hurry. Okay. Hey, why, why did I do this to you guys? What did I do? Okay? All right, I promise. What did I do to you guys? Are you all right? Was it Ray? Him if he hurt you guys, okay, ma'am. Okay, why do you want to hurt me? What I do? Okay, wait. Oh, okay. Here, I got something for you. It's it's a uh, uh, dress. Right, will you do me a favor and get this little girl out of in safety? This little girl over there, okay? All right. Oh, all right. Please. Is Heather and Kim okay? Yes, ma'am. I will. Okay, all right, all right. All right. What the hell? Get on your stomach. 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 Why is everybody. Get on your stomach. Okay, okay, I did. Get your hand behind your back. Hand behind your back. Okay, I gotta give you something. Bring it behind your back. I won't do this to you guys. I won't do this to you. I promise. Please, I promise. I won't hurt you. What Put you your hand Put behind your, your back. Come on. Did Corey do something? Put, Put your, your hand behind your back. Oh, okay, you have it. You have Put it. Put your hand behind your back. I promise. Okay. Hand behind your back. Oh. All right. That's good. That's good. That's good. I did. It's good. But what did I do to you guys? You know what? Is everything okay? Did someone hurt you? I told her I would them up. I don't know anything. 
Can I go to my son's sit fell and be please? Have medical kinesia? I need help. Please. You all right? Sure. Guys, can we talk? You have the right to remain silent. If I should exercise that right right now, okay? Yes, Get up. Sir. Get up. I need, I am. I'm fine. What happened to you? Hang on here, buddy. My legs hurt real bad. Hi. What happened? Get up. You too? Get up. I used to work with her Easter. I will. I promise you guys. Oh. I'll wait. Can I go pee real quick? No. Nope. What do I do with you guys? Did you open your car? I can't? Yeah. Oh, I've never been busted for drugs in my life. I've never been busted for drugs. Okay. Wait, 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 my minute. I've never been busted for drugs in my life, you guys. And you know I don't. Oh, hang on. Okay. What did I do to you? We're both going together. What did I do? Oh, yeah, that's funny. Going together, you guys. Shit. Get my off. Oh, God. God damn. Okay, okay, I'm done. 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 i am done Move. Oh, you understand me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I won't hurt nobody. I just need help. Yeah. You guys got burned stuff and hurts. Guys, I'll take care of Where's the gun at? Where's the gun at? You okay, babe? Is it in my car? Where's your eye back? It's in my door. Okay, right here, right here. Guys, please tell my boys I love them with all my heart. It hurts so bad. That's all right, so I got it. Here, that his gun? Yeah, that's mine. That's mine. Oh. Where's her gun at? It wasn't hers, it was Dave's. Can I am? Yes, sir. Let's roll her flat. Alright, let's pat her down. She's got clubs in her. Oh, dear. Hold your legs up. Yes, sir. I, I have a neck a brace in my neck. She got another little gun right there. Uh, you guys, what did I do to you? I promise I'll cooperate with you. 100%. I promise you guys with all my heart. What's in your what hand? Here? What, what? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm sorry. I got it from the neighbors. Can I tell you the neighbors? Can I tell you the neighbors? Please. Whose car is this? Nasia's. This guy beat me and he made me. Alright, that baby. pocket's good. All right. Sir, he, he beat me and he's got Major my daughter. Yeah. Will you tell, you, you get my daughter away from that? Please. Do you want hobbles? Please, guys. Her name's Cassie Marie Thomas. Tell my boys I love them, alright? Corwin Bowers, I love you. Get in the car. Come on, feet up. Get up. Get in yep, the car. Yes, sir. Get in the car. I, yes, sir. I can't get up. Can you help Stand me? Stand on that and get in. Yes, sir. Feet in. Okay. Thank you, guys. You're awesome. Okay. Uh, I didn't want to shoot anybody. Sorry. It's okay. Fine. I had to grab. It's okay. One link in five. <sighs> oh, and she came in the store the first time saying, You know who I am. I'm from Dolan Springs. Blah, blah, blah. And then she walked back out because my boss told her to leave the store. She right. didn't call the cops. So she left and I didn't think anything of it. Next thing I know, not even 10 minutes later, she walks back in. I didn't think anything of it. Then a customer told me, oh, she's got a gun. So I told my boss, I said, I'm going to the kitchen. Cause did had... you ever see the gun? Yes, I did. What did it look like? It, it looked like it was a, well, I don't know what they call those ones with the barrel that spin. A revolver? I think so. Okay. I don't know if it was loaded or not. All I seen was the gun, but my boss just told me that it was loaded. What color was it? It looked black to me. It was from a distance, so it could have been black. It could have been tanned off or whatever, like right. scratched off. You know what I mean? You're right. Yeah, and that's all I seen. And then as soon as I seen that, I told my boss, I said, I'm going to the kitchen. Okay. And then one of your officers came in and said, everybody leave the store, and I left the store. 
I just got so scared. I'm still shaking from uh, it. That's okay. I understand. Do you need any medical attention? No, I'm just I'm just shaking up. Okay. So <laughs> when you went into the kitchen, you didn't see any any interaction between the officers and this girl? Well, no. Uh, the only interaction that I saw from your officer and the girl is when your officer came in with the gun drawn. And she said, everybody leave the store. And after that, it was just straight to the door. I didn't see nothing after that. Okay. All I seen was an open door, and I'm going for it. I'm Did you door. hear any gunfires? Uh, the only one that I heard is when she shot your officer, apparently. And you heard just one single yeah, gunshot? Yeah, that's all I heard. And I'm like, what was it? I, all I heard was boom, and I'm like, what was that? And then they, uh, they all said that she grabbed the officer's gun and shot the officer in the leg or the foot, which I hope and pray that he'll be okay. Because none of you guys deserve to get shot for doing your job. Appreciate that. She was outside the store. I thought she was yelling at somebody that she knew. And I'm like, okay, I didn't think anything of it. And then she started coming in the store and she started yelling at my boss. And she's like, oh, I know you. I beat your ass and your boyfriend's ass. And I'll do it again. And I'll get my brothers and sisters from Dolan Springs. And we'll kick everybody out ass here and this and that. And it's just like, okay, and the customers are just sitting there, we're just talking about it after she left. And I'm like, I've seen stuff like that all the time where people come in and talk crap and right. leave and they don't come Did back. Did you recognize her from no, being I've a never, customer before? No, I've never seen her. And that's when yeah, somebody already, told me that she had already gone in the store, okay. all yelling and crazy. Mm -hmm. And some lady said to me, don't go in there because I want to pay cash. Because there's a lady in there with waving around a gun. I'm like, oh, so I played with my credit card. Uh -huh. And... When they dragged her out, the guy had her like this, uh -huh. and then I heard the gunshot. Okay. And she came in the first time. She's just yelling, you know, ranting and raving, you know, telling everybody, you know, whatever, chill or whatever, blah blah blah. You don't know who you're f with, and so on and so forth. Okay. I and mean, everybody, everybody just went about their way, ignoring her, letting her do her thing, rant, rave. The manager told her, you know, you need to leave, and then they started going, you know, with her. So she walked out. You know, about gone five minutes, she came back in and she had a pistol on her side. Okay, so when she first walked in, she, she shot back this way? Yeah, she went over here and she tried to get behind oh, oh. the register. Okay. And she then, tried coming back here? Yeah, and that's when the cashier told her no. Okay. And then so she was over here and she was like waving the gun around, so I went over here to talk to her. Okay. And, and it was that same gun over there <laughs> that you see? Because yeah. she had another one in her back pocket that we found. We just want to make sure it, that was the one, that was the one that you saw. Okay. Um, she was talking to that customer, Jack. Jack was trying to say, like, hey, this is your name. You don't know these people. And that was just asking. What was she, what was she saying when she was um, in here? You know, she kept telling me, you know who I am. I grew up with you. Um, and I come from California. I've right. been here two years. Um, she said that we're from Dolan Springs. She said that... Um, she's been by everybody in her life and she's here to take care of it and she kept naming off these names and can't remember the names okay. and then she was like do you know these people and I said finally it was like me telling her I didn't know her was just making her angry so uh -huh. I just said yeah I do know you okay. and then she said who's hurting you I and said, where was she at she was standing right she was right here and then she kept trying to get me to go into the bathroom with her and I was like ma'am I can't go into the bathroom but I can talk to you right here uh -huh. and I tried to tell her like do you want to go outside and talk and she was like no and then she kept saying that all these names and then I got her calmed down and then it started all over again with I was the one that hurt her I was the one that raped her and it was it just a cycle she kept saying the same things over and over again no matter what I said okay she wasn't trying to leave or do, she was just talking to me so I figured I would just talk to her until you guys got here to try okay. to make her less angry you guys have known me all your okay, life. Okay, come on, right. step out. Please don't f*** me, because I've got children. I didn't do anything. Okay. And you know it, guys. I protected you all your f***ing lives and going. I defended you, you know I did. Which side? I didn't do anything. No, no I didn't. Okay, hop in. I am. Put okay, your right sir. foot all the way in. Okay. All the way in. Sir, all the way in. All the way in. Sit down on your butt, and then slide in. You got it? Look at you guys. I beat up anybody okay. that touched you guys when we were kids. Okay. How could I do to Watch. you guys? Put your feet in. Watch your feet. Watch your feet. There you go. I didn't do anything. You what, know, I what, defended you guys. What's your name? You know what it is. You guys grew up with me. I don't. 
Brenda K. Thomas in Dolan Springs. Okay. Brenda, I'm Detective Dixon with the Sheriff's Office. Okay, I'm gonna read you something real quick, okay? Yes, sir, my Miranda, go ahead. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, right. the right to remain silent. If Anything you, you say cop, can great. and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him present with you while you're being yes, questioned. Sir. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you for any question if you wish. May I request a lawyer? Absolutely. So, um, his name is Daryl Ketchner. Okay. Is that okay? Daryl Ketchner is not a lawyer. Um, I, he's an active lawyer. Well, actually, he's my brother-in-law. Can I ask for him? Is it okay? You, you absolutely Please. can. Uh, he's in, if I'm not mistaken, Department of Corrections right now, right? I'm not sure. I don't I, know. I haven't seen him in a long time. I, I, I believe he's in Department here. of Corrections for homicide. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought this. Oh, wait a minute. I, I thought Seth Tar did. You thought what? Why are you guys doing this to me? Hey, you wanted a lawyer, so I don't want to okay, violate your I rights or anything please? like that. Absolutely. Thank you, sir. And so. Awesome. Thank you. Go ahead and roll the window up. Can I have seven kids? Please just leave one of my kids. Okay. okay. What's up? I didn't do anything to you guys. I protected all you guys and told your kids. I don't know why you have to do this to me. Just tell my kids I love them, alright? Yeah. Thank you. I just wasn't sure if you were calling for it. That's why I rolled down the window. Are you good? Are those contacts in your eyes? Yes, sir. Gotcha. I have to. I can't see them. No, we're not going to kill you. Then what are you going to do? Why? Why? We grew up in Dolan together. We all went through hell the same as you guys did. I went through worse than you did. I got I raised a kid. What did you uh, guys so do? I, I think you have. Who is it? I think you got. You have us confused with somebody that you think you know. We are. We are all law enforcement officers. I. I don't think I've ever met you before, Brenda. Right? You know me. Well, just because you you told we me. We went to Dolan Springs together, Mount Tipton School. Okay. How old are yeah. you, Brenda? You know how old I am. We're all. 50 years old and you know it. I'm not 50. Well, I'm sister's, in my... My sister's 49. She was in your grade. Because I beat up Gary Redens in 6th grade, you guys, and you know it. I beat up Scott McKesson in 8th grade and you know it. Brenda, what was your last name again? Thank you. Thank you. Tell me what time it is, you little jerk. If you're gonna shoot me, let me f***ing walk your ass first. 3-10-41. car. Why you gotta do? from me and everything else. They killed one of them. Do to you guys. You're not going to shoot me, are you? Nope. Come on, you grew up, up together, you guys. Step I didn't out. do nothing. These step are my out. kids. Come on. Step out. Okay. I mean, look at this. I didn't do anything to you guys. Come on. What did I do to you guys? These are my kids. Kendra, Kelly, oh. Okay, wait. Stop doing this to me, okay? Hang on, I've got a crippled leg, you guys. I had neck surgery. Please. I promise you're not gonna fucking shoot me. No, we're not gonna shoot you. Okay, where's Corey? Yes, ma'am. You get my son. Please. Wait a minute, look at me. Because of my contacts? Guys, I didn't do nothing to you. Are you. Sit down. Yes, sir. Get the phone. Brenda, will you stand up and face the back wall for me? No, we got to shoot. Oh, we don't have any guns. We're getting my kids. Can you stand up and face the back wall, please? Can you go f yourself, please? Okay. You got any, uh, any guns on you at all? Take your guns. That's right. Take these off of me. Stand, stand, stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up, Brenda. No. Stand up. I don't believe Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. You can't. Sorry. So who's laughing at me? No one's Nobody. Look towards the wall. You guys, I don't have a 
fucking gun, you idiots. Don't you dare give me that shot. It's not a shot. It's not a shot. Don't you do it. Knock it off. God stop damn you, I'm not going to die from COVID. Stop grabbing my hand, Brenda. It's not a shot, Brenda. Yes, it is. You know it is. handcuffs loose is all you Oh, God. Where's my kids at, though? As far as my kids. Where did you leave them? Motherfucker, my youngest is 10 years old. Okay, are they at home? The rest have been fucking raised. Okay. My okay, kids, let I've go, raised. Let go of my thumb, thank you. You fucking pushed me, dude. I was trying to stand up. You fucking pushed me. I did. You stopped. You he stopped. did. You need to hey, stop. Breathe. Take a breath. All my kids Relax. are fucking raised except for two. And they're with their dad. I hate you guys. I hate you. Go that way. Go that way. Sit Wait a minute. Way. Walk that way. We're in school together, you guys. I never did. God damn. Why are you crying? You don't know them, huh? Stand right here. Come on, Do some on the other side. Don't give me that. Oh, God. You guys, I didn't do a thing and you know it. Hey, you. How's it going? We grew up together. Yeah. Yeah. So you turned traitor too, right? You got my kids? You got my kids? You guys are all men, right? We're men. I'm still behind me. Where's your kids at? Huh? Where's your kids? Brenda, step in. Go ahead and step in. Why please. should I? Step in. Come on. Step in. Because you're, you're men. You're men, right? You're men. Right. I need to step in. Step I can't. You're pushing me. You're holding me. Yeah. How am I going to get I don't in there? Want you to fall. Raise your foot up and step Raise your on foot the foot up. Just step in. Let's go. Come on. There you go. Oh, you guys are men. Five of you. You know, you know we've all been fucking family for. Years, Brenda, dude. can you step in? Just step in. Thank you. What's, what's wrong with you guys? Put your foot in. We don't want to smash. Oh, your you're men. Thank you. You don't get to f***ing have sex. Come on. You're not going to put me in cell. Yes, I am. Come no, on. you're not. Ricky's coming for me. I know he is. Get out of the car. This is your last chance. Brenda, let's go. Oh get out of the car. You f***ing shoot me, mother. Get out of the car. I'm not going to shoot you. I can't. You're not letting me. Uh, yes, Dumbass. we are. Let's go. We'll be more than happy to help you. I swear you. to God, Ricky's coming for me. I know he is, and I know my boys are coming for me. The, uh, you f***ing dropped me, mother. Yeah, I'm not get a hold of you. We're all out. We're all cool together. So you guys are going to charge me with some kind of drugs that I don't even do? What? Quit smashing my arm. Smash. Go to the right. You f***ing up. Go to the right. Me. Okay, I didn't hurt you though. Okay, but you don't grab my hand. hand. That's what you need to I understand. Did, I didn't grab your hand. Easy, easy. She's not doing that. You guys know I didn't grab your hand. I didn't mean nothing. You did too. I swear to God, I got raped. Why am I the one big doing this? Why are you guys doing this to me? I'm the one that got raped and had to raise this child. What did I do wrong? Hey, I'm going to need to help you. Okay, okay. How long did you Yes, ma'am. Okay. I didn't hurt you guys. We were friends. We were family. Put that up on the floor. There yes, you go. I don't do nothing to you guys. It was my kids. Hey, stand right there. Okay. Separate your legs. Separate your legs. Did you separate? Oh, yes. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. Okay, do you have anything on you that is going to poke me, hurt me, or anything? No, ma'am. Okay. okay, you just turn that away. Everything on me. Right there. I didn't do anything. I raised my kids. What the hell's wrong with you guys? Why are you touching my... They plan on me. I've never been in trouble. I don't fucking go to jail, you guys. You know, you can't. I don't have anything on me. She's good. Are my kids okay? Just tell me, are they okay? Are my kids okay? You want to talk to them? Nope. It's okay. You're done? Yeah. Uh, Taking the food, so have her fill out paperwork. Okay, come here. If not, the only thing I got open right now is transfer. She's just gonna sit there and talk, just so she I can't get this one off. You're wrong. This has been on. In the end, Karen received, rightfully, a litany of serious charges, including disorderly conduct with a weapon, resisting arrest, and second-degree attempted homicide because, if you remember, Karen grabbed the officer's service weapon and wounded him with it. On February 26th of 2021, an Orlando area police officer observed a vehicle speeding driving on the wrong side of the road and hitting the curb multiple times when they were turning. As a result, the officer pulled the car over and you'll never guess what the driver said to him. 
pile of edge. How you doing? Good. Good. My name is Corporal Proud of the Police Department. Do you know why I'm stopping tonight? Because I ran a bicycle. Because you ran a bicycle? Is that what you said? I ran a light, light, red light. No. So you were back on uh, Lake Pickett. You were on the wrong side of the road. You almost struck the curb numerous try uh, times. You were going 15 miles. Yes, you were going 15 miles over the speed limit, and then when you made that left-hand turn, you almost ran off the road over here. Where are you coming from tonight? Downtown. Downtown. Um, my Wh shift. Shift. Where do you work at? Room 22. Okay. And where are you heading to? Right here. You live in Night Circle. Yes. You go to UCF. Yes. How much you had a drink tonight? One drink. What were you drinking tonight? Vodka. Vodka. Okay. How big was the vodka? Not big at all. Not big at all? Alright. Drug test me right now. Okay, okay, well, I'm not worried about drugs, okay? Or breathalyzed. Okay, well, well, that doesn't work that way, okay? So let me have your vehicle registration proof of insurance, please, okay? Okay, Olivia? Yeah. Let me have the fake ID. No, the, the one that was in your purse. Yeah, that one. Let me have it. Please do not Olivia. charge me. Olivia. Please do not charge me with this. Olivia, give me the fake ID. I've already been. Olivia, give me the I've fake ID. Been. Thank you. You've been what? To jail, and I don't belong what, there, and I would do anything what'd you go to, to jail stay for? out of it. Okay, what'd you go to jail for? I don't need your credit cards. Following too close. You, you went to jail for following too closely? That's not an arrestable offense. <laughs> so what, what were you? What, there for? I'm really scared. What were you charged with? Burglary of an occupied convenience. I was just using self-defense, and it was dropped before it even okay. made the state's attorney's okay. office. I don't. I don't need your credit cards. Okay. What do you need from me? Uh, to step out of the vehicle. Okay, come stand right at the front of my car right there. So, uh, here's the thing. I'm very concerned that you shouldn't be operating a vehicle, and I'm concerned that you're operating a vehicle in the state of Florida, in the county of Orange, in the jurisdictional limits of the University of Central Florida, while you are, your normal faculties are impaired by a chemical-controlled substance. Okay. Do you have any problems participating in the standardized field sobriety exercises for me? No, sir. Are you under the care of a doctor or a dentist? Um, no. Okay, are you diabetic or epileptic? I am. I have panic disorder. You have panic disorder? Okay, yes. do you take medication for that? Yes. What do you take? Um, I take a five milligram tablet, and I take a of ten milligram tablet of bethanidrone. So you take fifteen milligrams of that one one drug. Ten milligrams twice a day, five milligrams total. Okay, one so you morning, you take night. two five milligram tablets, correct? Con totaling ten milligrams. Other than that, any other kind of physical defects or anything I need to know about? Adderall. You're on Adderall. When's the last time you took Adderall? Four or five p.m. today, fifteen milligrams. Fifteen milligrams. Okay. So besides the Adderall and the other drug that you told me about, the other prescriptions, is there anything else that you're taking? Red Bull. That's it. Red Bull. Okay, I understand that. Um, do you have any physical defects as far as like anything in your neck, back, legs, arms, knees, ankles? Anything that would prevent or inhibit your completion of the exercises? No. No. Okay. Very good. You understand? Yes. Okay. Don't anticipate where it's going to go. Just follow your eyes. You got to you got to follow your eyes, okay? Don't don't move your head. Just your eyes. Don't move your head. To be fair, take your take your hands, go like this, make like a cup like it, put them around your chin like this, there you go. Okay, now and put your hands against your, there you go, okay. Olivia, deal not valid, restrictions correct of lenses. Not valid for failure to pay, traffic fine, negative 29. She does have CH out of Florida with officer safety for battery. She is a current student. Okay, we're, correct. And we okay. do have she, everything she's saying okay. is right. All right. Oh. A few parts. We're just going to go right by, right in those parking spaces right there. See this white line that's right in front of us? Yes. Okay, here's what I want you to do. Why don't you step right on that white line for me? Here's what I want you to do. See how this line is flat, level, free of debris, and well lit? Yes. Okay. What I want you to do is put your left foot on that line. Put your right foot in front of your left, heels touching your toes. Okay, you may begin. Miss. 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 
Mess. Seven. Arms. Eight. Mess. Nine. Ten. Up. Pivot. One. Mess. Two. Mess. Three. Mess. Four. Five. Off to the left with her right. Six. Mess. Seven. Mess. Eight. Mess. Arms. Okay, here's the next thing I want you to do. Face me. You can go ahead and begin. Look down at your foot. Look down at your foot. Stop. Okay. I got one more thing I want you to do for me, okay? I got one more thing I want you to do for me, okay? Can you see that tree right there? Yeah. Okay, here's what I want you to do. Face the tree. Spread your feet. Okay, nice and wide. Okay. Can you put your thumbs like this? Wiggle your thumbs. Okay, and then you're going to put like you're skiing. Put it behind your back like that. And I want you to count to 30 for me, okay? Start counting to 30. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, All right. ten. You are under arrest for driving under the influence of a chemical so, substance. I'm sorry, what? You're under arrest. Please don't, life. please don't, please don't. Please, sir, I beg of you. I'm not drunk. I will do a breathalyzer test. I will do anything you guys need me to Can right now in front of you. Okay, Can you step over here. It comes as no surprise to anyone that after blowing a .412, Karen was charged with, I believe, her third DUI? On May 30th of 2023, an officer pulled over a vehicle because it had a burnt out taillight. But instead of writing a ticket and issuing a mere citation, something much, much bigger happened. How you doing? Hey, I'm Deputy Young. The reason I'm pulling your is because you only got one taillight working right now, okay? Yes, sir. All right, can I get your license for registration proof of insurance? Is this the puppy back there? Yeah. Okay. Any weapons in the car that you know about? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Yes, sir. Okay. Where are you coming from? Picking me up and we go up in the room. Okay. Do you have an ID on you, sir? Uh, I, 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 might, I might have. I might, I might, I might. Do you have anything had your name on, like a uh, card or something? Like a debit card or something like that? I do have my ID. I just, it was loose earlier. Okay. And, uh. Hit that for me. 2645, 1 Prior, yes, still nervous as hell. The hands won't stop shaking. He's got a commit. That's why he's shaking. I don't know why she's shaking. Uh, we'll go 264. Calm down, sir. Hey, hey, calm down, calm down. Calm hey, down. Step out for me. Come on. Face that way. Face that way. Face that way. Come on. Just relax. Relax, man. Relax. relax. I, I am. I am. Can you tell me what's wrong? Got a warrant for your arrest. Come in, sir. I'm going to pay that tomorrow. Wait, I know. We'll have a choice. Today. Huh? Today. We'll have a choice, though, but a judge, a judge put a warrant on me. Stand, sir. Sir, if I, 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 don't, if I don't go pay that tomorrow, I will turn myself in myself. Uh, you know how many times we heard that, right? No, sir. I don't know how many times, but this, you see where I'm at. I see where you're at. I, I will be. I will be. I got downtown. you. I got you. No, I, I, mean, I can't. I can't get nobody. I got to take you. I can't get nobody. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let me see. Come on, you're good. Careful. Okay. 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 Oh, go, 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 go. Come on, man. Uh, take him. Take him to my mom's house. Uh, yeah. Take him to your house. All right. See, sir. Do me a favor. Do me a favor, ma'am. Do, do me a favor. Roll your windows up and step out the car for me, okay? I don't want the dog to jump out, so roll your windows up for me. Yeah, I'm explaining everything to you. Just step out. I'm explaining everything to you. Whoop. Drop your lighter. Hmm. There you go. Shut your door for me real quick. All right, step over here to the front of the car. I'm explaining explain everything to you. I'm kind of like... I'm trying to have like a roommate tonight, so I'm not really... 
I got you. I'm, I understand. Yeah, you definitely shouldn't drive down the road if you don't want to be seen with that. So have a seat right there. The reason I got you out of the car is I have a narcotics detection canine. I'm going to run my dog around your car as part of his traffic stop. He's requesting me to do that. So I had to roll the windows up so that the dogs don't interfere with each other. <clears throat> Liban. Liban. Come here. Live in. Find it. Four hundred one. Ten fifteen at three forty two. Yes. Oh, man. Load. All right. So I'm not saying there's anything in there right now. I'll tell you the way this works. Okay. When is the last time anybody has used narcotics in that vehicle? had narcotics in the vehicle. Nobody. So I'm going to search the car. There's not going to be any shake. There's not going to be You're not searching my car. I am searching your car. My dog alerted on the car. It's probably because I searched your car. So. No, he did not. Okay. I'm not going to argue with you. That's Sir, right. you cannot search my vehicle. If you start arguing and interfere, you're going to... Right. I can tell you, no. you cannot search my vehicle. You have no reason. What's your probable cause? My dog alerted. No, he didn't. Yeah, he did. No, he didn't. Are you a can I hear Stop, stop. Stop, stop. Hey, hey, hey. Stop Here's the thing. So you know the difference, Kaylee. You know, I'm not even expecting you. You're not a candidate. You're not searching my vehicle. Can searching. you get your There's dog? No stop, 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 stop. Can you get your dog out of the car for me? Yes, no, maybe, why not? Can I speak to your supervisor? Can you get the dog out of the car for me? After I speak to your supervisor. If you've struck, oh, you know let me let me let me explain one thing to you, ma'am. You are not in charge here, okay? Can you please get your dog out so I don't have to? We're gonna call animal control if you don't get the dog. Out. I, I don't want to hurt the dog. <clears throat> I have moment. I don't want to hurt your dog. Can you please get the dog out for me? You grab some gloves and search. <clears throat> when your dog is done doing doggy stuff, can I please have you come back to my vehicle? Every the dog barks when, uh, so just like like how people are, are different from each other, every dog is different. All right, I've seen dogs bark. I've seen dogs uh, sit down. I've seen dogs just stare and point with their nose. I I'm not that dog's handler, so I can't tell you what that dog's alert is. But apparently he alerted. Okay. <clears throat> Pull me over for a brake light. Tail light. Okay, but that's what you pulled me over for. Correct. So how does this have to do with a tail light? Well, his dog did a free air sniff and it alerted to your the present narcotics to your vehicle. But there's no narcotics in there. You have nothing to worry about. I'm just asking. Like, I'm just saying it. I just don't understand how that has to do with having a tail light. While I was doing my traffic stop, dog did a free air sniff. What was your reason for bringing the dog out? I I do it whenever I pull people out, and I feel like I need to. Reason, that's fine. Okay. Dog to have to pull a dog out and search my freaking vehicle. Okay, like I said, if there's no narcotics there's in not, there, then saying, you have nothing to worry about. Just do whatever you want. Just if you're an officer, you pull me over for a tail light. I did pull you up for a tail, like, yeah, that's correct. I'm not worried about it, but you pulled me up for a tail light, and that's okay. what I'm here thinking about. Oh. I'm studying, Bob. I need you to stay over here. I'm right here. I need you to stay right here. We'll pull it back over here. Yeah, 
no probable cause of bringing the dog out and searching my feet. I don't need. I don't need probable cause to have yes, the dog come do. out. Yes, you do. Okay. I had an officer in my family. Yourself. We can run a dog around any vehicle we want to as long as it's part of a traffic stop. We don't have to have probable cause for that. They're attending female. Sorry, for No, not not right now. You get my cigarettes? Yeah, in a minute. Why in a minute? I want I don't want to know. Excuse me, ma'am. Can I get you to go to the front, please? Pulling me. Okay. It's not my bag, by the way. Okay. Whoa. Well, we'll see you, dog. Good. All right. What are you? Want to hold this dog for me real quick? What are you grabbing me for? Because I'm about to put you in handcuffs. That's not my stuff. That's not my stuff. Open the car. That's not mine. You're gonna get more charges. Stop. That's not mine. Stop. That's his bag. That's not mine. Stop. We'll figure it all out. Getting an archives investigation. We'll see what he says about it. That's not mine. That's not mine. One eight four. We have one more year in 10 8. Yeah, we'll take a look at a adult female. Adult male, take the video. Hold on, stop, 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 stop. Stop. I'm trying to adjust your cuffs. Silly. Stop moving. Stop moving. They're not tight. He's trying to fix it. The more you move around, stop moving. You are moving, I'm watching. Stop. Stop. How much should you have you done tonight, by the way? I, I, I don't do jokes. Stop moving, stop moving. Did you find anything in my seat? You're the driver of the car, it's your car. That's his stop. It's in your car, possession's not his. I picked him up, I'm not supposed to know what he has in his stop. See what it says. Hopefully he says it says. Ask you, <clears throat> It's not mine! Let's have a seat. It's not mine, sir! Let's have a seat for him. Oh, I'm trying to turn, make turn, you turn, 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 turn. Move your feet. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. Put Tim to your push popper for now. Oh, okay. He's chilling. Alright, here, I'll be right back. The scale was in the main bar. Yep. Uh, the dark end was in the park, and then the front zipper pocket was that, which appears to be cracked, but it might be in DNA actually. It's just this in there. And she's got needles all over. Um, so that's, but there's still a ton of stuff in here, so there could be more. Okay. I knew when I saw the dark end, I was like, oh, this is going to be the bag. Yeah. So, but there's still yeah, she, a bag she, she wanted to leave real bad. Uh, all right, let me go put, let me put my gloves on. Uh, help you out. Yeah, I, uh, I just went for the uh, purses because I knew, man. Oh, yeah. Give me one of these purses. Get coloring pencils and uh, the coloring books. And I was like, oh, they got, they're gonna be doing mad. They got all the coloring books. I tell my girlfriend all the time she works for the jail. Yeah. And sometimes she has the adult color books herself. I'm like, <laughs> like you, you got some real method tendencies right, right now, Angel. Yeah, really? I'm all, I'm all done on my end. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure we got everything. Yeah, they, all right, so where were y'all coming from again? I picked him up from. Uh, I don't know whose house it was, but it was over from Michigan. It was by this bag. Okay. Who, who was ET? <laughs> a friend of mine. Okay. More like a friend with benefits type thing. Okay. So. What in that car is yours? Just a white bag and the makeup bag and uh, the beach stuff. Okay. Have you ever used a narcotic before in the past? Yeah. I, okay. What did months you, ago? I mean, okay. I, what did you I'm use in the past? Bag. <laughs> what did you use in the past? I smoke weed. 
there anything else that she used in the past? Yeah, when I was a teenager. Well, what did you use as a teenager? <laughs> okay. Anything else that you use? All right, do you do any pills? Okay. When you used to take cocaine, how did you ingest it? Eat it. Eat it? That, that sounds nasty. Does he use any narcotics? Clearly, if y'all found it. I'm going to read your rights. Okay, I'm going to ask you some questions. You have the right to remain silent. With these rights in mind, do you wish to answer my questions? Yes or no? no. You said no? Okay. So I'm going to let you know what's going to happen, okay? I'm going to have a female come up here and come search you. Alright? After that, both you and him are going to be charged. Okay? What? Alright. I thought you were going to get a provision from him that's not mine. I talked to both of you already. Sir! Alright. Sir! Hang tight. Step up for me. What? It's not mine! You have anything on you that's gonna hurt me? Let me, let me finish the question. I'm not even done. Poke me or get you in trouble. Told you I talked both of y'all. This is the officer's deputy saying he's gonna talk to you. Can you get her answer for a place? Yes, ma'am. I told you I talked talk to both of y'all already. Okay, what did he say? Well, talk to me. Bro, you better tell them that ain't mine. That ain't right. You're not gonna do me like that. Then, please don't yell, Miss Clark. Bro, he's good. Come on. Both male and female Karen were eventually charged with possession of drug paraphernalia and possession of a controlled substance and perhaps they forgot about the taillight? Back on November 17th of 2021, an officer was sent to a house because of a family disturbance. However, it was reported that a female in the home had a knife so dispatch made sure to warn the officer to approach this woman with caution. This is what happened. Did you grab me from my chest? Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. My stepdaughter is upset today. She's stealing stuff. Let me talk to you over here real quick and then we can figure it out. Let me talk to her real quick. Yeah. You want to check it out? He thinks I stabbed his tires. Well, I need I to figure it. out what's going on first of all. Ugh. Talk over here away from him, okay? So again, what happened? He always takes my cigarettes and um, he moves mine. Um, I'm having to live here. You mentioned you had a knife just to be safe. I don't have a knife. Just keep your hands out of your pocket, okay? No, you're good. Okay, I'm off. I'll empty him if you'd like. I've changed my cigarettes. You're good. Honey. Because I'm tired of him messing with my things. Okay. So Which one's your room? Do you have a room I don't have a room here, no. You've been staying for a few days? Um, no. Until I get my appeal settled out with, um, because they illegally have So my how, how many days have you been here? Several. Several? Like a month already. Yeah, so and things here, like clothes and Yeah, I have everything here. Okay. So he moved your cigarettes, you said? Um, he does all the time. He takes them. Because my brother smokes all my mom's cigarettes. So I'm thinking he gives them to my brother. I blame it on my brother, but I'm the one that's always up. Um, like right now, my brother has a towel in front of his door. Um, you made a comment about marijuana. Um, what about it? Yeah, legal? He takes your weed. He does. Your cigarettes. So he's taking your weed or your cigarettes? He's taking all of it. So be more specific so I can and figure so out. So he's getting in my on. purse and then he puts it back when I start raising pain. Okay. He doesn't need to get in my purse. Does he smoke marijuana too? Um, yeah. And that's why he's trying to get marijuana? I guess. No, just to be a d He's always been this way my whole life. Okay. My whole life. As far as you know, does he smoke? Yeah. Okay. So that's kind of why the issue's at. Mom, no, the he just likes my is one.
Right. Yeah. Pipes, my weed, out. my pipe, my cigarettes, my lighter, all the time. So what's up with the comment about the knife? About the knife? I don't know. And you can said, go look at his I'm gonna go check. But he said something about you had a knife uh, and that no, you was crazy. The ass coming out of his tires and all this and all that. No, you can go look. There's no go look. I didn't okay. touch it. So once these other officers are here, we'll, uh, these other officers are here, I'll let you stay with them and I'll check the tires real quick. Stay on this side. I got over here. Huh? You gotta wait here. I'm not under arrest. Oh, uh, it doesn't work like that, okay? No. I gotta wait. Don't ask me, Mom. I didn't have a knife. Don't no, no, throw me down. I was you gonna walk back outside. No, no, no. Okay. It work like that. Okay. Hey, back up, back up, back up, back up. I was Please don't. Why are you I was turning around to walk out the door. I've never resisted. All right, back up. Because I was under arrest. Ah. Why does I need a pee? We'll explain it in a minute, okay? Who's being hateful? I just said we'll explain it in a minute. Okay. That's fine. I wasn't having attitude with you, girl. Okay. She got mad just because I told her to explain it in a minute. Okay, sir. So what's all going on today? Because she was in here. I'm in laying down in bed. Okay. She's in here hollering that I stole her weed, and I stole her cigarettes, and all this stuff. I told her I didn't steal anything. I don't have any weed. I don't have cigarettes. I don't steal okay. cigarettes. And then she told her mom, so I'm just going to go out and play in his tires and see how he likes it. So you said she so, grabbed the knife? So I went outside, she had a knife in her hand, and I heard everybody about her tires. I don't know if she just handled it well or if she stabbed it, but she was there by that front tire right there. You heard um, air? I heard air coming from You heard like air coming out of the tires? What are the comments? At this point she is for, um, what other comments did she make about it? She just said she was going to cut my knife in my tires. She was going to cut the You heard these comments too, Mom? Uh, not really. I'm getting bad. So. So I guess he said that she said she was going to slash her tires, and he heard air coming out of the tire. And this happened right before. Oh, actually, that goes to that. That goes to the first yeah. Marks. yeah. But I guess she didn't stab it. So she was tampering with it with though. the knife. Yeah. No, no. She said you took her marijuana. Yeah, she said I took her marijuana. Okay. And I took her cigarettes. Did you? No, sir. Okay. Can I help you up and yeah, wrap it to my mom concrete? take you to the bathroom? No, ma'am. You can't. You're under arrest right now. You can't go to the bathroom right now, okay? I'm just going to try to lift you straight up, okay? Oh, man. Here, just okay. use your leg. You're okay. Just uh -huh. come up. I get it. Use your knee. There you go. There you are. I got you. Uh -huh. There we go. About the third time this week, she's accused me of stealing marijuana. She loses it. She puts it somewhere else. Last time, yes, yes. Where did she get the knife from? Reach out. I'm in the kitchen, I guess. I'm in the kitchen, I guess. Is it okay if I smoke a cigarette? Yes. In here? We'll see if we can. Yeah. My lighter's down there. Down there? Okay. Yeah. Have a seat and I'll get you in, okay? Mom, I'll leave. Just please don't have me arrested. And the reason I had to dump her is because I told her not to go inside the house, so we figured out what was going on. She saw the other officers coming, and she started walking away from me, and I told her not to come back inside, so that's why I had to drop her, because she's not allowed to go back in there. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, because she, she were over there, like I told her, just come over here so I can come and get your side, and she figured she was going to come back in here when I told her not to, which she can't, because I'm trying to figure out what's... What's happening? So that's why that happened. You're being, you're under arrest for for REO for obstructing, resisting, and obstructing. But I did not. Listen, I listen up for me, okay? That's because you you went away from that officer when he told you not to. He told me to stop and I turned around. Well, you tried going in the house. I know, but when he that's but when he, he told, told me to, you stop. to stop. I turned around. And you continue trying to go. Oh, I was turning around to walk out the door. If y'all would have seen him, mom. Okay. Yes, Just you kind of understand. Yes. Sir. I told her not to go in there, and she still ignored me. Now she's catching a charge for resisting. With, all she had to do was listen to me while I told her I was going to figure out what was going on. I told her that before that happened. Yes. I told her not to come inside. I'm Corporal Rodriguez. He pulled me from my backside out the back. I was already turning around, sir. I'm not lying. The tire is still falling Well, the, the screw off where you air it up is off. You understand that all you had to do is wait, like I said, right? 
Yeah, as soon as you told me to stop. No, 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 no. I, I told t- you not to leave when we were there. I said, wait, and you just I kept said, wait, away. I'm not under arrest. And you said, as soon as I was in the door, and you said, that might not be so. I stop. I didn't say, I, I never I said that might not be so. I told you not to go in there. I was, okay, so I was not even all the way in. If you would have just waited and let us figure out what was going on, you wouldn't be in handcuffs. It's that simple. I had to pee. You never said that over there. You just saw the other cops show up and you started walking away. And I told you not to go in there. I told to go. you I have to go inside. As far as I wasn't you're, arrested. Listen, as far as you're I wasn't dad, read my rights. Hey, he's trying to explain. I understand that, but I wasn't read my rights, so I wasn't under arrest. You don't have to be read your rights to be placed under arrest. Yeah, of course. Do your full pat down real quick and you you can't pat me down. They don't want Bob. Going to jail. Mom. Mom, please. Hey, okay. Hold on. Can I get my other shoe? Yeah. We can get your shoe. I didn't do nothing. But why? I wasn't under arrest. So why am I under arrest now? Okay. But but how can you give? Okay, I understand. But when you told me to when he told me to stop, I turned around. I did. Hey, I've got that other suit. Yeah, we'll put it in the That's not right, because when he told me to stop, I was turning around. Just put your toes in there, slide it on. Just just you want this, this, this is not right. You've been told you're under arrest. Okay, after back. the fact. I wasn't under arrest in the driveway, so why couldn't I go pee? Because you weren't free to leave like I told you. Mom, put please. Mom, please. Your mom's okay, not going to do nothing for you. Put your shoe on. This is the last chance to put your shoe on. We're going. Let's go. Okay, Andrew, let's go. I, I'm putting my shoe okay. on. We'll put, put it on, on right now, and we're going. Mom. I don't have no money to bail you out. Okay. Let's go. Okay. There's not going to be a bail anyway. Let's go. All right. Can I politely ask you a question? What? I wasn't under arrest at the time. When You're not free to go. It doesn't matter. You're not free to go. I gave you a lot of order okay. to wait there while the other right. officers talked to you I said, so I could figure out what okay. else was going on in there. You can You can argue that in court. That's your right. We're past all that now. She has some quarters and some dollar bills she wanted you to keep. You're okay with that? Okay. So, and I apologize. I promise you I wasn't trying to be rude. I was just trying to explain it and we could. So, I apologize if it sounded rude. I wasn't trying to be rude at all, okay? So, but she's, it's, it's a misdemeanor resisting evading, so she won't be in there like way too long or anything, but probably for the night, okay? I'm going to lose my job. I finally got off the street, got a job. Nobody, nobody else was here when he did that to me. Like, if you ask my mom, as soon as he told me to stop, I stopped. And I was barely on the ledge of the door. And he said, wait. And I waited right there. And that's when he pulled me out of the door. Mm-hmm. You could ask my mother. She was sitting right there. Like, I don't get, I did stop. I didn't go any further. So that's not resisting. I wasn't under arrest at the moment, sir. He did not tell me in the driveway I was no, under, I arrest. under arrest. Okay, but I did. I stopped. It looks like it looks like to me, honestly, when you you were trying to go inside the house and walk away from it. But that's not right, man. My parents don't have the money to get me out. Ultimately, after all the trouble that she caused, this Karen was only charged with resisting arrest. No, I didn't hit anybody else. No, unless you have proof of that. I have a lawyer for that. It's because they're making me cry. <laughs> Okay. I don't understand what it's like to be heartbroken. I just wish somebody would understand. On July 29th, 2022, an 18-year-old woman, who we'll refer to as Karen, returned to her mom's home under the influence of alcohol. Karen was extremely upset because before she had gone to work, she had left $600 cash with her mom for safekeeping, but when she got back from work, the money was gone. When Karen heard this, she got extremely upset and became physical with her mom, pulling her hair and scratching her face. Things became so loud that the neighbors heard and called the police. When the police arrived, they saw Karen's mom's hair laying on the floor as well as a cut on Karen's mom's chin. This provided the proof that the officers needed to take Karen into custody. But before that happened, this happened. Get your hair. What's wrong with you? 
Stop. Come, come, come talk to me over here. He's, he's not letting me go. They let me go all my months. I have six hundred dollars, and they're not giving me money. I have money to leave, and they're not giving me my money. They have all my money. Okay, who are they? Jose, my stepdad, and my mom's stepdad, but they have all my money. My mom told me to leave my money before I left to work. I have somewhere to go, but they're like giving me my money. I'm 18. I'm trying to leave. I just want my money. I hear Okay. I hear Okay. I gotta go through a couple things. I hear what you're saying. You just want my money. I understand you just want your money. Okay? Couple things. Okay? Let's go through. Let's go through a couple things. I just want my money. What is your first name? Just so J E S S Y L E. They're not letting me leave. I don't want to live here anymore. Why are they not letting you leave? I don't know. I just want my money. I'm obviously going to talk to them. So I want to hear your side of the story first. Okay, okay yes. I just so want what, what are they going to tell me? They're going to tell you that I don't want to give up my waitress. They gave me scratches on my face. I want to leave. I don't want to leave. Okay, but you're anymore. not answering my question. Okay, yeah, so they're going to tell you that, like, I'm not giving them attitude. I'm not giving them the right answers. And then, like, I'm not even in the middle finger. In, in the middle so finger. you say that you're disrespectful. Yeah, but I just want my food because I want to leave. I don't want to live here anymore. I just want my food so I can leave from here. I don't what do you do for life? I'm a waitress. And Every you, day. Did you graduate from high school yet or no? Yes, I did graduate. I wanted okay. to still see in, like, October. Okay. I, sometimes when people are 18, sometimes they're still in high school. So that's why I'm asking. I know. Okay. But I just want my waitress. I want to leave. Let me and ask you this. Where do you plan on going? I have some friends that are letting me stay with them. Which friend? I can't tell that. I don't want them to get in trouble. But Nobody, like, nobody's in trouble right now. You understand that. But I, got, okay. I gotta figure out what. They live the like place. two blocks away from here. They're saying that they're waiting that they're waiting to get me away from here. But my mom, before I left them to get away from work, she was like, "Work is like two blocks away." Where do you work at? I understand your waitress, which is hard work. Just yeah, saying, I used to do that. Una Guadalajara. Okay. Uh, a waitress there, and I'm a waitress there, and I just want my waitresses because so I left my food here, and then I tried to look for my food, and I couldn't find it. Okay. I Is just, that what started the argument? Yeah, because my food wasn't where I left it. Okay. Do you typically buy your own food, or do you? Guys yeah, I buy my own food. I pay the rent for them, the rent and everything like that. I just want my food. You pay the full rent, or you pay a portion of it. I pay light, gas, weed. How much do you pay? Four hundred a bill. Four hundred dollars. Yeah. Okay. For rent is what you pay. Four hundred dollars. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then that includes Wi-Fi, electricity, and food. But and like, then as far as rent, they have you live here rent free. Yeah, and I'm 18, so I just want my rent. I can leave right now, mm -hmm. just as long as they give me the rent back. So I can pay my friend where I'm going to stay right now. So I'll explain to you how that law works, okay? Mm -hmm. So if you have a rental just agreement, which you can have it we with, did it. with rentals. No, but you can, it can be verbal, right? Because that's why you continuously are paying no. X amount. They never said I can have... Um, so how large. many months have you been paying $400? Um, nothing. This is barely the first month I've been paying rent. Has it did happened before then? No. When did you guys decide on the $400? Um, barely. Probably like a week ago. Barely so, but you verbally decided that you're going to pay $400 for no. NYBC. I told them, I was like, okay, if you feel okay with giving 400 rents, I'll give it okay. But, like, I'm not going to give rent to you, like, um, rent, verbally, um, bills, electricity. I never said I was going to give that. And earlier this morning, she was like, oh, like, leave your food here. You'll be fine. I won't give anything up. And then I came back, and my food wasn't there. And it was like $560. Okay. Cash. Because I'm a waitress, so... Yeah, everything's cash. Yeah. I get it. I'm everything's up with tips. Everything's cash. Yeah, I just want um, my... my check hear me cash. out, right? So, and you yes, have a... I am bulimic. Okay. So, I do have an eating disorder, but, um... 
I don't think that matters. I don't think it matters in this case either. Mm -hmm. We can talk about that if you want, and I can try to help you with that. If you want help in that in that area of your life, but you're 18 years old, so you can tell me yeah. whether you want help or you don't. I'll be uh, fine. I do know a lot of individuals that have had that. Okay. And that is something to seriously consider and for you to sit there and, and deal with. Okay? I just want my free stuff and to move out. Okay. That's it. I just want to move out. I have work tomorrow. Work for what? I have work. Oh, work. Sorry. I have I work. I just want my stuff. She told me to leave my stuff behind. I think she did that on purpose. I just want my stuff. I want to leave. I know where I'm going to stay. I just want my money. Okay. So I That's got it. Well, two things right that I'm thinking about, right? Well, three really, because now I'm thinking about the bulimia, but we can address that if we need to. Okay. I went to the... I already went to... Counseling for that? Yeah, and it obviously didn't work. I, I don't know if it's it. obvious or not, because here's the thing, right? Here's the thing that's important about counseling. All right. You can try it one time and it not work. You can try it five, six, seven times, and all of a sudden on the eighth time it does. But the reality is it did something, is it helped you become more aware of it. So it did something for you, okay? Mm -hmm. It just might not have sat there and gotten over the entire thing, right? I just want my money back, and I can leave right now. I hear you. I just want my money back because the they thing. lied to How me. How am I supposed to force them to give you the money back? Tell them to give me my money back. I give them all my money. I've been them. working so much. I understand I'm that. I'm so tired of okay. it. No, the other no thing you about don't it. understand. I've been working weeks straight for money. I do understand. You want to know why? Because at 17 years old, I was I emancipated myself from my parents. So at 17 years old, do you know what it is to emancipate yourself? Yeah, you don't have them left, like, any responsibility to them. Correct. Do you know what you need to do to be able to prove that? The court. But what do you need to prove in court in order to emancipate yourself? That you don't need them, that you don't need them to... It's know. not living at somebody's house either. It's exactly. You have you be by yourself. Independent. You have completely independent, right? Independent. As of right now, you're not doing that. But that's different, right? We got a different, that's different than what I don't. So I do understand is my point to you when I bring that and up. And it's the fact that like, she told me before I left, she was like, give me your food. Nothing will happen to your food. Give me your money. Mm -hmm. Nothing will happen to your money. And she was like, I'll hide it for you. And when I came back, my money wasn't there. <laughs> now let me ask you that, okay? And I that's want you, the issue. I want you to be, oh, no, well, there's another issue, right? That's the issue. My money wasn't there. I want you to be honest, okay? How much have you had to drink? Because I can smell it. I've had two shots of tequila and two shots, uh, no, two shots of tequila and two drinks of alcohol. That's it. I just want my drink. But you say that's it. <laughs> You know no. what that would do to me? <laughs> yeah, you guys can do um the PBT. Yeah, so you guys can do that on me. Why? But I've had two shots and two drinks of alcohol. How many are you allowed to have? Um, probably I am twenty, so you could probably have like one or two drinks of those on me. You know, even if it's under their allowance. That's a whole right? different thing. The answer is right. zero, though. You're you're not twenty one years old. No, but if their allowance. Now allowed. we'd have to sit there and deal with and prove and all right. That kind of stuff. So let's sit there and deal with those, right? What we're gonna talk about, right? We, we should we should talk about it now. We are. But you're right now. You're starting to skirt for what we're trying to address. I'm not though. I'm able to keep a at eighteen able years old. At allowance. eighteen years old. Right. Right. You're not supposed to have any. And, and that's, why do they let me? Are you? So in one breath. Right? You're telling me that you're capable of taking care of yourself, handling yourself, paying all these bills and doing everything. But exactly. in the same breath, when it suits you, you're going to tell me it's their fault that you did something. Exactly, because why do they have all my money? Where's all my... I remember... So in one breath, you're capable of taking care of yourself. Yes. You're 18 years Let's old. Some... You can sit there and buy all your own food. Yeah. But when it suits you, mm -hmm. it becomes their problem. Right? Yeah, can we take a drive? A drive and everything like that? A drive? Why no, are we gonna like, drive? No, not a drive, just a test? Mm -hmm. You're supposed to have zero. No. Yeah, let's have a drive. Let's have a dress. A what? A dress. You don't D -R -I -S -T. need a field sobriety test? Yeah. 
You're you're supposed to have zero. Yeah, let's try. Why would I try? I want to make sure that like you're right too. That like you're making sure that I'm okay. That I get my money back and everything like that. So can we try that real quick? Do you want to do a field sobriety test? Yeah. Why? Just to make sure that you're okay. And I'm not that, like, okay with the fact that you've had alcohol. Yeah, but like they've had me too, and I want my money back. So and I have let me ask to you say. this again. It's a very direct question. In one hand, you're telling me that you're an adult and you can take care of yourself. I can. Because you can pay your own bills, you have a place to stay, you buy your own food, and you're taking care of your mental health. Exactly. Okay? But in the same breath, you're telling me the one thing that you've, you've taken alcohol today, you've consumed alcohol, multiple... Four breaths. Okay, right? Four beers. Four beers. Which is different than the tequila, but either way, right? You've consumed exactly. alcohol today. Yes. And state law says that you can't consume any. But they let me. But you blame somebody else. But they let me. So are you a child or are you an adult? I'm an adult. So let's so try outside. Outside. It's not let's letting. Outside. It's not them letting you. We should let each other. Come on. Let's see if I'm drunk. Come on. Let's see if I'm drunk. Sir? Uh, sobriety test? Can we see if I'm drunk? Yeah, I don't do it. Sir, no. No, I want to though. That's fine. We don't, we're not going to do that though. It's not a DUI investigation, so. I want to see though, because I want my money back. You having alcohol is not going to determine if you get your money back or not. No, true, but I want my money back because I did make a lot and I'm 18, so it does make sense if I make my money back, you know? I do know my money back because I have lawyers as friends, you know? Okay. So. So we should do like a money test, you know, a money test? sobriety test. Money sobriety test? It does money sobriety test. If I'm marking straight, it does. I'm re I'm required to test. I'm required in test right now, right now, you know. I'm recording right now. Okay. Just be careful. Alright, let's test right now. Right, so we'll do you want to take the right. test? I do. Okay. How many alcoholic beverages have you consumed today? Four. Okay. So you're over the legal limit for you. It's test is done. What's the number test? Zero. Zero. Can we look it up right now? I'm aware of my laws. I'm At sure. a later point in time, you can look it up. Yes. Yeah. Let's look it up right now. I know my laws. I don't need to look it up. I know, but we should look it up just in case you're wrong. You know, I'm not wrong. Maybe you are. The state of Illinois states you have to be 21 years old in order yeah, to consume alcohol. Yeah, but I'm 18, so I should get is my money back. over 21? I know, but is I Is that am, over 21? I am 18. Is that over 21? They let me. I have permission. As an adult, you can make your own decisions. You need permission? Yeah. They gave me permission. So I should be able it's to get you interesting how it switches. Sure. Okay. And I want to get Browns? um recorded. If I don't... You know, I get my money back. Or mine? else, yeah. Is mine? Come inside, man. Don't worry. She's gonna have this up, Alex. What are you doing? Getting ready to do a walk. We just did our test. No, you we not didn't. remember? We did. No, we didn't. We didn't do a test? We just took a walk. I have everything on my I camera that you have right there. Yeah, I know. So we should be careful about what we talk about. No, I'm not on camera. It's okay. Yeah, we didn't take anything yet. We did, though. Yeah. We didn't. Yeah, I'm not dumb. I know we Nobody said you're dumb. Yeah, we didn't take a though. I can have somewhere else to go. I just want my money back. Because my mom told me, you know, if I leave my money, it'll be okay. And I trusted her. Okay. I trusted her. I just want my money back. I have somewhere to stay, everything like that. I just want my money. I don't think the money's any issue with it. I think, I think your mom already put your money back into your purse. No, she didn't. Oh, we watched her put a substantial amount of cash inside your purse. It was six hundred dollars. Okay, I didn't. I didn't count it. I know she took a lot. Can we of make? Cash. Can we make a bit? Can oh, we check we my purse? Her, in a second, my partner's talking to me. No, we I want to make my purse. Stay, you need to no, stay here. No, because if she actually made my purse, I want to check her right now. Okay. If we, you guys we, say, we'll get to that. Okay, they're getting a statement so right she's now. So she's supposed to have 900 in my purse. Can you just, but that, that we're talking about two different things. I asked you what happened tonight. What what happened? You came home. I what came transpired? home. My parents were already mad at me. This has been going on for two nights straight. Okay. I'm, I've been a waitress. You know, nothing mm -hmm. bad has been going on. You know, they've been going. 
crazy on me, Jose, literally yesterday, he went off on me last night just because he was like, where the f*** are you gonna go, this isn't that, and I was like, I don't know yet, you have to give me a little bit, you have to look for a friend I gotta stay with, today I found a friend to stay with, um, that's it, I When are you supposed to start staying with them? Today, I have somebody to stay with, I just need my money all back, it was a lot of money. I'm a waitress, so, so you, you know it's a lot of money. You okay. know it's a lot of money I'm, if I'm, I'm a waitress. I'm not, I'm not arguing about that. Exactly. But, but you're, so you're supposed to stay with somebody today? Yeah. And I already have somebody. I just need my money back. Okay. But you were supposed to stay with somebody today, but you came home? Uh, Yeah, I just came to get my stuff, like my bag clothes, like my underwear. Okay. So, but you just came here to get certain mm -hmm. belongings and your money and... Whatever. I did, yeah. Okay. And then what happened? What that happen? Jose started screaming at me. Jose's always mad because he stays you know my mom, easy. bro. Look at his house. He's literally a wreck. Oh, right. He's always cheating on my mom. He's always has issues. He's never he, he's never happy with himself. He's always putting his unhappiness onto everybody else just because he's insecure. And my mom doesn't love him. That's all he's insecure about. My mom doesn't love him. That's what he's not happy about. Right. And that's not my fault. But he takes that out on me. He's like, oh, like, your mom never pays attention to me. Your mom never pays your, your mom never gives attention to me. Your mom never, you know, does this to me. And it's Have you not taken my anything fault. else today besides alcohol? No. No. We could take um, I mean, I'm just asking because your pupils are, are very, very large. No, my happened to me. Um, I, I can see it with the light. No, okay. I know my happened to me a lot, but I oh. promise nothing else. I'm just me. asking, just for your no. own well being. I'm not trying to like put a case on you or anything like that. I'm just, I promise. I know. Your, your pupils are very large. Yeah, my sister did that to me too. But we could take um, tests and everything like that. Mine, mine happened to me when the light, enough. when the light. Dilects and flex. So when the light is low, they get big. When the light is light, they get small. But yeah, I didn't take anything else. We can. They don't. Yeah, but they don't. We can take videos. Um, anything else like that? I promise I can take. It, but I didn't take any videos. Okay. So at this point, you're being placed under arrest for domestic battery. Okay. So no Wait, I didn't do anything though. No, 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 I didn't hit anybody else. No, no, because I didn't hit anybody else. You're gonna get more charges. Come on. No, because what I do? What I do? You put your hands on your mother. No, because what I do? Yeah. Wait, when did I do that? When? No, because can you prove that? Yes, we can. Can you prove that? When? Well, let me see it. Let me see it. Stand up. Let me see my mom hit my mom. Let me see my mom hit. Why are you doing this? Cause let me see my mom hit a Stop. bruise on her, or else I get Stop. a bruise. Let, let, let me see my mom put a bruise on her. Let me see my mom put a bruise on her. Let me see my mom did that on her. Let me see it. Or else we can't leave. You're no, under unless you're under arrest. unless you have proof of that, you you're can't leave. Arrest. Unless you have proof of that, unless you're you have proof, Legally. unless you have proof, you can't take me. Unless you have proof, please don't make me. Um, you no, unless you have resisting. proof. You unless you have that? proof, you are under arrest. Unless stop you have resisting. no, unless you have proof, you can't take you me. You have one on or no? <laughs> unless you have proof, you can't take me. 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 Or else I'm gonna get a oh, mother judge on your ass. You can't take a proof, you can't take me. Unless you have proof, you can't take me. Unless you have proof, you can't take me. Unless you have proof. Unless you have proof. No, unless you have proof, you can't take me. No, 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 no. No, unless you have proof, you can't take me. And I have a mother in. I have a lawyer for that. I have a lawyer for that. Unless you have proof, you can't take me. Where's the proof? Where's the proof? Where's the proof? Where's the proof? The Tell marks, me. The marks on your mother's face are the proof. No, let me see the proof. Okay. Let me see. We'll show you. Right now. Oh, right now, or else, or else, the lawyer. Where's the proof? You want to lay down? Right? No. Where's the proof? No, 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 no. Why are you guys letting me not? No. Why are you guys letting me lay down? Where's the proof? Did you see the No. Where's the proof? It's hot in here. 
Where's the proof? Let me see it. Where's the proof? Proof's in her, in her face and her injury. Let me see it. Okay. Aren't you guys, um, pictures? Weren't you guys the pictures? Are you going to stand up like an adult or do we have to carry you out? No, let me see the proof. Do we need I, to carry you or? The proof or I get a lawyer? Well, you, you can have a lawyer anyway, but you don't get the a lawyer. The proof right or where's the lawyer? Okay. Okay, let me get up. Where is the proof? No, where's the proof? Where is the fing proof? Where is the proof? On the count of three. Where is the proof? You liars. I'm going to get you guys food. What the fuck? Find the phone on me. Find the phone on me. Find the phone on me. Find the phone on me right now. Close the door. Close the door. Shut up. Yeah, we, I have paper towels inside, okay? I get it. Just wear my chairs up with okay. I, well, the, I'd rather not for your safety just because no, these it touch a lot of matter. people, right? It's because they're making me cry. Okay. Please, we'll just wipe them off. We'll, we'll, we'll okay. just get you inside. I'll get you a paper towel, okay? So just, as long as just please don't fight us or kick us, okay? Okay, just wipe my chairs okay. up. Can you just step over here, man? Okay, just one second, one second, okay? We're gonna go inside. I'm gonna get you a paper towel, okay? Follow this officer right here, okay? I miss my Okay. Well, well, we'll get you in and out, okay? So watch your step here. Okay. Just watch your step here. We're gonna go over here. Okay, okay. Miss, do you have anything in your pockets? No, you could take them. Okay. Well, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna pat you down, but I, I just wanna let you know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, the quicker we get through this, the quicker you can go. Okay, just hang on, just hang on, just hang on. Just can you face this wall for me, man? Okay. Do you want to? You guys don't understand what it's like to be heartbroken. Okay. Well, we're just going to make sure there's nothing in your pockets, okay? Go ahead and use the deal. Okay. Just want to make this as smooth as possible, all right? We know it's a stressful night for you. <laughs> okay. So this is the first step down that road, okay? Please get him up. I miss him. Three to six months is always too much time for a breakup. It hurts. I miss him. I need him. Okay, listen, this is what we gotta do now, okay? First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take off this sweatshirt, okay? Because you have a shirt underneath, right? We gotta take off the sweatshirt, one thing at a time. We gotta get you through this process. Okay, talking about your if, you, if, you, if you find them, I'll take my ex-boyfriend off. Okay. I'll take my sweatshirt off. No, you're under arrest, you're taking your sweatshirt off either way. Please, fine. Take your sweatshirt off now. Miss, miss, the, the faster we get through this process, the faster we can get to helping you out, okay? Right, and I understand that, but first things first, we have to make you safe to be in our custody. No, it's not fair, because if, if, if it were your ex-boyfriend, you would have missed him. If it were your ex-girlfriend, right. you would have missed him. If it were your ex-girlfriend, you would have wanted her. The, the quicker we get through this, the quicker we can get to helping you out the I rest of the way, okay? I want my ex-boyfriend. Ma'am. have to cut it off. I don't want to cut it off. You can cut it off. No, I just, just, just take it off. the one he gave me. Just like, what's your name? Giselle. Giselle? Giselle? Did I say that right? Okay. All right. So, like Officer Roscoe's has been explaining, okay? You're under arrest and you're here in custody, okay? All right, there's certain, listen, there's certain steps that we have to go through, okay? There's certain things that we have to do in order to help speed this process along, right? You don't want to be here any longer than you need to be, right? Okay, and, we, I, and I understand that. And we don't want you to be here any longer than you have to be either, okay? So we have to go through these steps, okay? And we want to do this the right way and we're trying to be as respectful as we can to you, okay? So what I need you to do is I need you to take the sweater off for me. I miss my I understand that. You, we can talk about it as we're going through this, okay? So let's go ahead and take your sweater off, okay? You're doing good. I'm sorry, this is my parents will talk to me about this. That's right. Well, you can, talk, you can talk to us as we're going through this. Let me see your sweater. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. I need you to take your necklace off. I need my 
We're, we're going to keep it all nice and secure for you so you can have it all back when you get out of here, okay? I want my ex-boyfriend. Okay, I understand. I need him. <laughs> Would you like me to help you with that? Let me see. I got, I got fat fingers, so bear with me, okay? He liked me more than my parents too. That's why I'm so obsessed. I know I sound like crazy. No. And like really okay, I'm going to pull this out and lift your hair for me so I don't snag your hair. It's because I really liked it. <laughs> okay, can you take your bracelets off for me? Yeah, I just wish he cared about me as much as I did. So too. thank you. Thank you very much. Now what I need you to do is I need you to take your socks off. Okay, and then you can, are ugly. You can so put your socks back on. Bad as mine. Trust me, you haven't seen my feet or his. <laughs> I have Don't bad feet. <laughs> Alright. You liked him? I loved him. Yeah, that makes sense. That's why you're upset. It's understandable. <laughs> so many things happened. I feel like nobody understood me. Not even my parents. So, right away they thought it was like to the thing. Well, I'll take them. Don't worry. I'll go through them. So we're going to put them over here. Yeah, you can look through them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so we've already done the feet. We're going to turn around. Yep. And we have, the ankle, we have the ankle one off. Yep, I took all the ankle ones off. Can I still tell you one? I'm going to tell you everything. About what? About your boyfriend? Uh, sure. Can you sit over me? I will sit over here. I will be glad. I'll sit down over here, okay? Was everybody on the main here? Uh, some of them do need to be here just because I'm in the room. You don't want us to be here anymore? No, you need to be here. I thought we were friends. I know, I don't want to be here. I was so real. I can't tell you one so you know it. I was real. <laughs> one gold necklace? And then, all the time I will find out that it wasn't. And what makes you think it wasn't? You would always get with other girls and make me feel like I wasn't. Seven bracelets and one hair tie. But I would always have so many bracelets on to remind him that I was that person. And you know, I would try to remind my mom that like this is going on and stuff. I've been to a psych ward before. I'm bipolar. I got Father, like. Do you want to see QH in the field? You're bipolar. Yeah. Bipolar one or bipolar two? Bipolar two. Okay. Simple. So I've got it diagnosed before. And do you take your medication for bipolar or no? I didn't. I didn't think How I long have you been off your medication for? A year and a half. Okay. So you can have had. Okay. I'm so in love with this guy. You guys just don't try to understand that I'm like so in love with this guy. And I'm literally going crazy over him. And I just wouldn't understand it. They would say, you know, I was stupid or stuff like that. But it wasn't that. It was just the fact that I was so in love. Yeah. I've never had a boyfriend before, so you know. It's, it's your like, first love. It's my first. It's your first love. I get it. I just wish somebody would understand me the way I do to them. I'm always understanding other people, but people never understand me the way I do to them. And like, I just wish they would know that, like, I go crazy over a certain thing. And they just don't know. They just don't go through the same thing as me. And, as I do, do them. They just Ultimately, Karen was charged with two counts of domestic battery causing bodily harm. So I think one count would be the pulled hair and the second count would be the cut on the chin. But as you just witnessed, Karen wasn't very cooperative during her arrest. So she was charged with resisting a peace officer as well.